To identify a specimen of Populus cross canescens, look for the following features. Young to semi-mature bark is grey, pockmarked by many diamond-shaped impressions. And on a mature to late mature tree, the bark changes noticeably to being very deeply fissured with lots of large corky plates running up and down the stem of the tree. Very rugged. This hybrid is dioecious. There are separate male and female trees. On the male trees, relatively short red catkins are born. Uh, not typically with quite a bit of grey associated with the ends of the uh, anthers. On female trees, densely packed green capsule-like flowers are born on a short racine. And these light grey-green capsules develop on the racine to release thistle down seed, typically in May. The leaves are all turned on the spray, um, the twig typically being a dull grey colour. And the leaves are rather variable in shape, never with a pure five lobing as you would get in Populus alba, but never fully rounded as you would get in an aspen. So they have a rather dull grey-green upper surface, a much lighter, paler underneath. Um, and typically they have a range between uh, one to five semi-triangular lobules that make the leaf margin irregular. And there's slight and rather variable teething on the leaf margin as well. These are broad crown trees often developing rather manic heavy branches that extend excessively out to the sides to absorb light. The winter buds being a tan brown, alternate, pointed, uh, with a fine grey pubescence covering both the twig and typically the lower half of the winter bud. 